Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel or blog for another card tutorial. Today I'm sharing these gorgeous summer cards featuring the Greetery Lemon Blossom Stamps and the Gina K Wreath Builder along with a few other products that will be listed below and you can find them listed on my blog post as well. Here's the Lemon Blossom Stamp Set from the Greetery. If you haven't checked out her stamps, I highly recommend them. She has beautiful stamp sets. I've done a little prep work by laying down my Misty and positioning the 4 inch Gina K wreath builder in the Misty along with a 4x4 four four piece of white cardstock. I've positioned the lemon slice and picked it up with the lid of the Misty. I'm going to be using the Hero Arts Soft Vanilla Ink to stamp the first layer of the lemon slice. I stamp the lemon slice, lift the lid, rotate the paper one turn, make sure it's positioned correctly, and stamp the lemon slice again. I'm going to continue this process until I have a full circle of lemon slices. I do want to tell you that I am new to the Gina K Wreath Builder, but I absolutely love it. It truly increases the uses of your stamp sets, and who doesn't love that? Now I'm ready to stamp the detail layer of our lemon slice. So here's a little trick that I saw over on Jennifer McGuire's YouTube channel. You use the index sheet that comes with your stamps to align each layer of the stamp. Start by finding the next layer that you're stamping on the index sheet and align it over your stamped image. Then align the stamp on top of the index sheet and lift with the lid of the Misty. Now you're ready to stamp. I'm using Simon Says Stamp ink in the color Duckling to add the details. I start by stamping the detail layer. I lift the lid, rotate the paper one turn, make sure it's positioned correctly, and stamp again. Continuing the process until all the lemon slices have details, So one thing that I noticed when I was using the index sheet was that when I positioned my stamp on it and lifted it up, it left some of the black from the index sheet on my stamp and it came off um, just by wiping it off, no problem. But I recommend you put a piece of clear acetate between the index sheet and the stamp just to protect your index sheet. Now, I'm sure not all stamp sets do that, but I have just found with a couple of the stamp sets I have so far, it has done that. So just a little hint tip there. So here I want to fill in some of the white space stamping leaves using Simon Says Stamp Ink in the color Green Apple. And then I go back over with Memento Ink in the color New Sprout. So I take the small lemon and I stamp that in the four corners to fill in that last bit of space. I decided I wanted to add one large die cut lemon to the center of my wreath. So I stamped the large lemon onto white cardstock using the soft vanilla ink and the duckling ink. Then I run it through my sidekick just to die cut it. So I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp the sentiment and I have a few more de add a few more details around the inner leaves. Um, also add some little black hearts in there also. I've assembled the cards off screen to save some time and I layered a 5 and 3 8 inch square piece of black and white gingham paper onto a 5 and a half inch square card base adding 3D mounting foam to the back of the stamped panel and I center that on the gingham paper. I have another panel that I stamped before starting the video. 
my practice panel and I decided I liked it well enough to use. So I custom Simon Says Fog cardstock to a four and one eighth of an inch square. Adhere the stamped panel onto that fog cardstock. Add 3D foam to the back of it and adhere it to a four and a quarter inch square card base. I'm going to turn the lemon right side up at this point. <laughs> Just one of my many crafting mishaps. So you can see both of the cards here. I'm going to finish the cards with some pearls from Little Things from Lucy's Cards. And these are the glossy eggshell pearls. I'm adhering them with glossy accents. So I believe that's a wrap for this video. I hope you have enjoyed joining me today and that you are inspired. I want to encourage you to leave any comments or suggestions below. I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. Be sure to subscribe to my website to have access to my videos before they're published to the public. As always, know how much I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and until next time my crafty friends, keep crafting.